Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted a video on this product and I got a bunch of people saying yes. So let's go ahead and make a video on the OnePlus Bullets wireless headphones. Now these new headphones from OnePlus incorporate the Google Assistant and they also have a $69 price tag. So not necessarily the higher end of wireless headphones but definitely not the lower end as well. So let's go ahead and open the box up and see what we get. So of course with the awful trend of the headphone jack disappearing, more and more people are becoming interested in wireless headphones. What's funny is that OnePlus actually has it with their latest model, the OnePlus 6. It has a headphone jack down at the bottom as well, but of course these will pair with just about any phone. So let's go ahead and open it up. Here's a look at the back of the box if you'd like some more very specific uh, specs about the headphones. But opening it up, and I will say, I am very impressed with the packaging uh, that they have done with these. You'll see here just a bit of a design of the headphones, but then these are the actual earpieces. And then here is a case on the right side. It actually uh, has some give to it. I'll take these all out in just a second. But uh, they always do a good job with their packaging, even with their phones. Before we jump into the headphones, let's take a look at everything else that does come in the box. So up top here, looks like you have, have some extra buds in case you have different size ears, and also some tips as well, which I think I'm going to have to swap out. I usually have to use the largest size buds for my specific ear shape, but nice that uh, they do have options considering not everyone's ears are the same size. Now this would should be, I believe, the carrying case. Let's grab this out and you'll see uh, it does have some give to it. Um, opening it up on the inside here, looks like is where that USB type A to USB type C cable is for charging with their signature red and white look. And with the case on the front here, you'll see there is a OnePlus logo, a little difficult in this lighting. I need a little shadow to show that off. But also the opening is magnetic as well, which you can actually just squeeze on the sides there. But uh, if you pop it open from the top here, uh, it is magnetic and opens up to put these headphones in. And finally, let's move on to the OnePlus Bullets wireless and let's open up the box here and looks like they're all in this box uh, for your music created together with our fans and then looks like we have another box to open up and opening it up from the back here is the actual headphones themselves on the left side here looks like you do get a simple user guide all that good stuff to let you know how to actually use them and let's take out these headphones very carefully um, and take a closer look at actually what you get with these headphones. So uh, right here, uh, nice black and red design on the outside of the earbuds. You have your tips and the grips uh, as well on the outside and then of course your earbuds. Now an interesting feature is actually the magnetic feature and these have magnets on the back so they should snap together like so. And when they snap together, it actually recognizes and senses that you've done so. So it will shut off your music and uh, I believe put in a low power state. And then when you actually unhook them, it will start your music back up. So it knows when these are actually in your ear or not. So around your neck goes a cable. And on the side here, you'll see the OnePlus logo, also a button to activate specific controls. I'll talk about those in just a second. USB type C for charging. And this is actually where is the, the battery is housed as well, which battery life is supposed to be great. And you're supposed to get up to five hours of listening with just a 10 minute charge. Moving along down the cable here is where your controls are with a middle button, volume up and volume down. Real quick, let's get these paired. And the power button is on the side here next to the charging. Just press and hold that for about five seconds. It will turn it on and make it discoverable. You'll see here on my OnePlus 6, Right here, tap to pair, very simple. It should automatically do the pairing and it recognized that it was looking for a device to pair to. Let's just tap the pair button right there and we should be good to go. It's now connected. Um, we can actually tap to set more uh, where you have a bunch of information here. You have an autoplay option, a smart answer for Bluetooth or call information broadcast. And then of course, notification ringtone in earphones. So now that I've got everything all set up, I wanted to give you a look at what these headphones look like while wearing them. Now, uh, you'll see here kind of a lot going on right here. This rests on the back of your neck, which does feel fairly comfortable. And it is also splash resistant, so don't have to worry about sweat getting on it. 
it's not completely waterproof. It is splash resistant, so don't submerge it in water. But right here, a lot kind of dangling in front of you. I'm a little worried while I'm doing a lot of physical activity. This might get in the way. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be the case or not. Um, but also just kind of the looks of it with it coming straight down as opposed to it connecting your ears and just going back like other uh, wireless headphones that do have that connector just going straight back to your neck. So you do have a lot going on right here in front of your neck. But overall, I think it's going to be very functional. The media controls are very easy to access. If I press the middle button here, I can play pause and use the specific controls. I actually just activated some music by hitting the play button. And overall, sound quality has been very good. I listened to a few songs just before I shot this clip, and uh, I've been very impressed. Now, in terms of controls, they're very... <clears throat> Now in terms of controls, they're very simple. Just press the middle button once for play pause. And actually if you double tap that middle button, it will skip songs. And then also a very unique and awesome feature is that it has the Google Assistant built in. So I'm gonna actually hold up my phone and I'm gonna press and hold the middle button. What's the weather like right now? And it will actually, respond into my ears it'll pause the music that's playing and go ahead and respond to whatever i ask it to do whether i want it to send a text message make a phone call even while the phone is locked i can say what's the tallest building in the world and if i let go it says the burj khalifa is the tallest building in the world so there you go while it's even locked so you don't necessarily need to have it unlocked to use a google assistant so a really nice addition to headphones that don't cost too much and then finally, I do have music playing right now. If I actually just go ahead and snap the backs together, it should pause the music and actually turn off the headphones. Yeah, so there's no more music playing at all. And then you can just have it hang there. Uh, very simple to actually walk around while it's hanging there and you don't have to actually act upon the music to actually uh, stop it or play pause it or turn off the headset to hold the power button to turn it off. It will automatically do it for you. So that's about it. Everything I want to talk about for now, I will need to go for some runs with this, uh, do some physical activity, as I was saying. A little worried with a lot of cables going on, but it does come with a nifty carrying case. These are fairly stylish earbuds uh, with a USB Type-C charging and some nifty features, including the Google Assistant. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think about these headphones. Uh, more to come as well, so be sure to click that subscribe button. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.